Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to Ham Radio 2.0 live from the Ham Shack. My name is Jason. My call sign is Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel Whiskey Bravo. And today we're going to be looking at a new HT radio from uh, TYT. Uh, for a few months now, the craze has been the, uh, the AWOT HTs that uh, Bale Fang's been releasing. Uh, they started with the uh, FHHP1, I think that's what it is, and the BHFP1 or something like that. I don't remember which one it is. You can get those through uh, Bale Fang Tech or on Amazon. Uh, on my website, I carry the UV82HP, which is the 8-watt version of the UV82. And those are good radios, but TYT has decided to join the bandwagon, and they've got a radio out that's uh, advertised at 10 watts per band, dual band, uh, 128 channels, I think it is. We'll look at that in a second. It's either 128 or 200 channels. I can't remember which one it is right now. Hopefully it's 200. That way we'll have a little bit, even more, a little bit over what the Bailfang advertises. It's a little bit more expensive, but not much. Uh, it's currently for sale on my website, uh, grapevineamateurradio.com, uh, for seventy nine ninety nine uh, before shipping. So for seventy nine eighty bucks for a uh, for a ten watt HT, uh, it's a pretty good deal. So we will be giving away uh, that HT radio at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. I will make uh, more announcements on that later. And um, But uh, let's take a look at this radio. If you found me on YouTube, uh, go hit up my website, livefromthehamshack.tv. You can see all the videos I've done to date. And um, I just like to do review uh, videos of new radios that have come out, new handheld radios, mobile radios, digital radios, heavy into DMR. Uh, I've done a couple of fusion reviews. Uh, those mini mobile radios that are out, uh, the Juntai, the Zastone, the QIT, the Lyxon, all those guys, I've reviewed all those. So uh, this little HT uh, from TYT advertises it will do the same power as the, uh, as the Lyxon uh, VV898, which was, one of the f uh, which was the first of the mini mobile radios. So uh, let's take a look at the TYT radio and see uh, what kind of performance it gives us. So here's the box for the THUV8000D, a new handheld transceiver HT from TYT. As you can see on the box, if you can zoom in a touch here, it's got 256 channels. <clears throat> it's 10 watts output per band, and it comes with a 3600 milliamp battery, which of course it would need if it's actually pushing 10 watts. We're going to test that here in just a second. Crossband repeat function, DTMF remote kill and stun function. Not real sure what that is, honestly. Does an FM radio receiver also? Of course, it does CTCSS and DS DCS encoding and decoding and scanning. So let's take a look at this real quick. Uh, let's see. This radio. Let's see if we can see that in the camera right there. Um, right there. <clears throat> Frequency range on this radio is 136 to 174 megahertz on 2 meters, which is pretty standard. 400 to 520 megahertz on 440. So we'll test that here in a minute as well. This is an unboxing. I just got these in like an hour ago, so I haven't even opened the box myself yet. The manual, it's always good to have. Sometimes you get that, sometimes you don't. One antenna, long antenna, right there. Zoom that back out a bit more. There we go. One antenna, two antenna, US plug. That's always a, <laughs> it's a good thing to have a US plug on that. And the radio which says the same thing the box does. 10 watts, 136 to 174, and 400 to 520. And the battery, 7.2 volt, 3600 milliamp, as, as advertised. Maybe you can see it in the light there. It's awfully dark. But it is definitely a 3600 milliamp battery. Put that there. Turn that on. Power on. Power on. So there we go. Okay, we're going to plug this sucker up, put it on the meter, and see what it will do. 
All right, so I've got it hooked to the meter now. I've got 20 watt power sitting there, and this thing is uh, talking to me. I kind of like. I kind of don't like that. voice. There we go. Shut that thing up. Okay. So I've got uh, 446.1 on the top band there and 146.52 on the bottom band there. As you can see. And if I go into function and power, it's got two set, two power settings. High and low. And that's it. Just high and low. So it's not a three setting, it's a two setting. So on, let's see, function power, low power. There's not really an indicator on the screen that it's low or high power. I go out and go back in and it doesn't seem to make any difference at all. So there's no, there's no indicator, which is kind of lame low power so I've got that low power 146.52 and we're right at 5 watts right there and I'm gonna go back up here to 440 still on low key that up like almost 6 watts not quite on the meter so this is supposed to be a 10 watt HT. So that's low power. We're going to go to high power. On 446.1 and key up. Just barely below the mark on 10 watts. So that's not bad. Uh, let's see. Let's go down to the other band. Oops. Come on. Get out of there this UV button right here switches between the top and the bottom band so function power we're still on low oops function high enter okay 146.52 and it's pushing like right at 8 watts so it's about 8 watts on 2 meters on simplex calling channel on 2 meters and it's right at 10 watts on 440, the simplex calling channel on 440. So that's not too terribly bad. Let's see, how did I get into... Uh, this TR button right here is what switches back and forth between VFO and memory mode. So if I wanted to go in... A, curious about how many channels this thing actually has because it says 128 times 2 on the front I don't know if that means it's got 128 channels per band or I don't know what the time 2 is so let's go in and find the memory channel in here see how high we can turn the number up nope 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 no nope. I've passed everything now I probably missed it Channel name, channel CDC, that's, well, I'm going to have to read the manual and see how to set the channel because it's not, usually there's a channel number, seek, that's your uh, PL tone scan, transmit, and receive, CTCSS Let's see channel name Message set Oh you can set the message when it turns on the greeting message uh, So 
Yeah, it's not real intuitive on how to get it to do that. Most of them will just let you... Okay, yep. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's how you do it. Function, TR, and then this number, it may be hard to see in the camera. This number right here is flashing. You should be able to see it right there. So that one there, so I can turn it. Yeah, 128. Then I assume I probably hit that. Yep, now it's in there. So if I go up to this one and go here, yeah. So it's got 128 channels in it. Because 128 on the bottom band matches 128 on the top band. So it's actually, it says 128 times 2. I don't know what that means. Maybe in Chinese lingo that means you've got dual display, dual receive, but it's only 128 channels. So it's 128 channel radio, ten about 10 watts on 440, and about uh, 8 eight and a half watts on two meters so not bad for 79 bucks not bad at all okay so there we have the tyt uv 8000d dual band radio advertised at 10 watts per band we got to see what it was uh, actually putting out on the meter so um pretty good for uh, for the price 79.95 on the website you really can't beat it um it's, uh, I took this out to the deer lease and used it. I put an external, not an external, I put a, uh, um, a larger antenna on it, uh, on the top of it, a Nagoya NA771, I think it was, one of those antennas that are like 12, 11, 12, 13 inches, something like that. I usually stick that on the radio when I go to the deer lease because the repeater's out there farther away than, you know, here in the Metroplex, we have repeaters around every corner, and out there you don't have as many of them. They're not all squished together. But um, but it did, you know, I, great performance on it. I can't complain with it at all for what it was for, a, for an $80 radio that's pushing, that's advertised at 10 watts. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's doing really good. Got a lot of good audio reports off of it. So um, if you're in the market for a high-power HT, this, one, uh, this one's available on my website, grapevineamateurradio.com. And uh, this one that you just saw me unbox, I'm going to give it away um, to the third number three subscriber to uh, to my video series so what you need to do is go to uh, live from the ham TV on the front page there there's a donation um, link on the right hand column for PayPal and it'll let you it's there's a toggle drop down menu you can donate five ten twenty five or fifty dollars so the third person to donate ten dollars a month will receive this radio in the mail for free um, so for free and you can donate and then you get it for free so basically you get a $80 radio for 10 bucks okay so when the first and second person uh, when the first person and the second person donate I won't uh, I won't make any comments but as soon as we have the third person donate I'll come in at the bottom of that post and say okay we've got number three just so no one's donating and donating and we'd get up to like 15 and I was only looking for three so I just want to try to be as upfront as I can about that. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Like I said, if you are uh, if you found me on YouTube, go check out my website, livefromthehamshack.tv. And uh, see all the, review, all the review videos I've done. Mostly what I do is uh, new radios coming out to the market, uh, a lot of Chinese rigs, uh, several Japanese rigs. Um, Going to be doing upcoming some... Uh, uh, well, it's still a Japanese rig. The uh, a couple of ICOMs that are about to come out, uh, HF rigs, I'll be reviewing those when they come out. Just kind of like an unboxing, really, not an extensive review. But uh, starting to get uh, more and more into the tri-bands, both on the HTs and on the mobiles, uh, incorporating the 1.25 meter, 220 megahertz band and amateur radio, and uh a lot, do a lot of dmr reviews also of her dmr radios there's about 38 manufacturers worldwide making dmr radios and i like to get my hands on as many of them as i can and review the ones and put it up there and say i like this one i don't like this one etc etc like that so uh, anything you want me to review um shoot it over to me send me an email uh go to go comment on one of these videos and say hey i 
saw this radio over here and like you to review it. So uh, 73s, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Hope, uh, hope to see your comments on the videos and uh, hope to hear you on the air out there. 73.